Hey, what is going on, guys? So today we're going to be discussing Ethan Klein or H3H3 once again, because he brought up the topic of animal rights and you know, pretty much veganism again. But this time it was a little bit disappointing because he was trying to justify things like humane slaughter, you know, oh, we can raise animals in a nice way on a humane farm, on a local farm, on a pasture farm. And if we do that, it would be justified to slit their throats or kill them at a fraction of their lifespan for a cheeseburger. Ethan says some other things as well as his guests that I also think are a bit problematic. So we're going to cover those as well. Let's get right into it. I'll just take a veggie burrito, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm out on, I've been trying to avoid eating meat. Oh, really? I eat meat, but do I have a coffee? Did I get a coffee? No, do you want one? Yes, please. Sure. Thank you. Your way around some meat. <laughs> I'm partly for, say, Mark. Par mm. that was Dan. Um, no partly one. because of health, okay. uh, but, but mostly because I just starting to feel so bad for animals. Oh, really? Yeah. Murder it's just animals! stuck. Like the, it's Let's so sad. Go, dude! It, it's just, no, the right. thing is like even stopping though, it doesn't matter because people are going to keep eating them and like, they're going to keep, it's just these mass meat factories yeah it's like animals die it's like so evil it is it is it's so it's unfathomable like we don't think about it but in china i was reading they have like a super complex of pork these uh, and pig, pigs are one of the smartest mammals there is super smart so a couple things you know ethan says he wants to order the veggie burrito because you know he's starting to feel a little bit more guilty about the suffering and death of animals in animal agriculture if you're not aware ethan there also is a lot of suffering and death in the dairy and egg industry this is why you know vegans aren't just vegetarians they end up eliminating all animal products and i would extend this information to dan the co-host who's also vegetarian which by the way many h3 fans in the past have questioned why dan is a vegetarian because he doesn't consume meat for ethical reasons especially pigs but he still consumes dairy and eggs which some have even argued is more unethical than the meat industry it's pigs you shouldn't eat pigs people it's they're 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 they're, they're self-aware like they're, it's it's fucked up yeah, and I've seen shit. some of those those pig farms are just absolutely yeah, horrendous. It's, it's just it's like an inhuman. Yeah, it's inhuman. It, it's literally inhuman. You think cow eating is less severe than pork eating? I mean, it's hard to rate these things because I mean, how do we really know what's going on in the minds of these creatures? I, I don't think I, I don't think you should eat cows either. But <laughs> the the pig one, it, it just it, it just always really gets me on an extra level. Again, just because of the the level of their. Uh, yeah, I mean, like we we so, you know people have their interactions and their uh, their um, love for their dogs. And so Dan, are you saying if I meet a really dumb human, I can eat him? But anyway, Ethan's heart is clearly in the right place here. I just wanted to provide some clarity as to how it isn't just the meat industry that's problematic when it comes to animal rights, suffering, and death, but also the dairy and egg industry. Uh, and pig, pigs are one of the smartest mammals there is. Super smart, uh, emotional creatures, and they just. <laughs> It's like 30 floors of a super massive fucking Walmart type thing of just pigs being grown and killed really? and jammed into fucking tiny cages. Like, uh, I just hate treating life like a commodity. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're absolutely right. It's like, um, I do go through that. Like every few years I'll happen upon, I'll go down some like YouTube rabbit hole and, and happen upon one of those documentaries that are like, you know, they like chronicle factory farming and it fucks me up and I have a real like moral reckoning. <clears throat> yeah. And then I don't eat meat for like a few days. <laughs> well, the truth is that they are like, I, I'm not even opposed to, um, I guess if it's sustainably me, like yeah. The thing is, it. what I'm opposed to is just the treatment of them like a commodity. Like, I mean, you're right. Like, a, like when you see the conveyor belts of chickens, yeah. you put them up there like they're nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's a piece of fucking fabric. Yeah. So to be charitable to Ethan, I think what he really means by commodity here is more like an inanimate object because obviously when you support these farms that do it locally or humanely, but don't you know put all these animals on a conveyor belt and treat them like inanimate objects, they're still being viewed as commodities. There's a price tag to them. They're sold in stores. Their dismembered body parts after they've been murdered are literally sold in stores. So they're still made to be commodities. Commodities. They're just treated less bad leading up to the part where we actually strip them of their lives at a fraction of their lifespan. I guess sustainably, like, yeah, the thing is, what I'm opposed to is just the treatment of them like a commodity. Uh, like, I mean, you're right. Like, a, like, when you see the conveyor belts of chickens and yeah. put them up there, like, they're nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a piece of fucking fabric. I it's, mean, it's an awful. Evil. Yeah, it's like on an animal level, it's, it's mass genocide. Like, a, it's just. It's real unfathomable fun. suffering and pain and just uh, it's so fucking evil. There's no good argument for it, I, I think. And it's just well, you're weird. right. It's because it's yeah, you're right. It's bad in every way. Yeah, there really is no good argument for factory farming. But I would also push a little more and say that this whole humane local farming that Ethan and, and the guests seem to be kind of viewing as fine. We know that Ethan would not accept this in the case of dogs. If you're not aware, unfortunately, Ethan's dog Shredder recently passed and to Ethan Shredder was like a human being. That's how much he valued him. And I think what he really meant by this was that, you know, Shredder had his own unique personality and, you know, the thought of killing him or something like that 
would obviously haunt Ethan and he would not be morally approving of anything like that. So similar to dogs or Shredder in this case, animals like chickens, cows, pigs, they all have their own unique personalities. And if we were to raise them on these sort of humane local farms that still treat animals as commodities and kill them at a fraction of their lifespan, Ethan would not be okay with that. He's bringing up this giant complex in China where pigs are like on this weird multiple story building where they're confined and it's just complete torture and terrible for them. But in the same country and in many parts of Asia, there is the dog meat trade and people that consume dogs. And I highly doubt that Ethan would approve of having these dogs become raised and, you know, they're having such a nice life and they have many years ahead of them, many years of well-being to experience. And instead of allowing them to experience those years, we put them in a slaughterhouse and slit their throats and consume them. It tastes good. That's the argument. It tastes really good. Yeah. How are we able to leapfrog all that shit so easily because it's like, I have just love that 10 piece. Because you're not seeing, because you're not seeing those documentaries <laughs> every it. day. Yeah, you don't see it. It is the the alienation from oh, it. Oh, the, the distance. Yeah. So this part is a little bit ironic. I mean, like I said before, Dan is a vegetarian for ethical reasons, and he's right when he says that you know one of the reasons people are so disconnected from the cruelty that they support when they go order a ten piece is that they're not consistently viewing the footage and what it takes for these body parts to get to them. But Dan still supports the dairy and egg industry, even on an industrial or factory farming scale. They eat a bunch of fast food on the H3 podcast all the time. And we all know these fast food companies aren't sourcing their dairy and eggs from, you know, these local farms. It's going to be factory farms where it's the worst of the worst. And of course, you know, taste, as they mentioned, taste pleasure does not justify the cruelty we inflict on animals. And neither would it in the case of humanely raising animals and murdering them. If somebody was like, I just love the taste of dogs, but I'm against factory farming. So we're just going to actually kill this dog that I just adopted, you know, I don't know, a couple weeks ago when they have so many years to live because I just like the taste of dog flesh. Ethan would not stand for that. They intentionally do it. They're like secret operations out in the middle of nowhere because right. it smells vile. It's just a place of suffering and hell right, for right. these poor animals. It tastes like beef jerky. But like, I would also argue that the place that the humane animals go to after they've been, you know, nicely raised also smells terrible. It's literally a slaughterhouse. They all end up going to the same slaughterhouse. It smells like death and blood. Again, got to bring it back to the dog situation just so I can, you know, get Ethan to really understand what I'm saying here. If you take some dogs and you raise them nicely and then you murder them in a slaughterhouse that smells terrible, smells like death, the animals are clearly scared. They're seeing their friends get killed right in front of them. You're not going to want to support that. Just look into Elwood's organic dog meat. They're a satirical dog farm that uses all the arguments that Ethan is using here to justify farming dogs. I very much doubt that he would consider anything like Elwood organic dog meat, if it was real, to be morally justified. There's like organic, I don't, organic to me is a giant scam, but when it comes to beef, organic actually does mean something. Oh, it means really? that the cows were raised on pasture and uh, were fed natural diets and that they were killed in a humane way and stuff. Really? So, so like there are ways, in my opinion, thank you, to raise animals in a way that I find acceptable. Yeah, I just don't buy this. I really want to know what Ethan's view would be of a farm that, you know, raises a bunch of dogs up. And when they're very young, they get sent to a slaughterhouse to be murdered. After the connection I saw him have with Shredder, his dog that recently passed, I highly doubt he would consider this morally acceptable. And for anybody watching who wants to say things like, well, livestock animals were raised for food and dogs aren't. There are many places in the world where dogs are considered livestock and are raised for food. So in those areas, is it morally justified to kill those dogs for food so long as they were, you know, raised very nicely before having their throat slit? But the way it's done now is just vile. Like you can have free range chickens that they live like normal good happy yeah. lives and then and then they just walk into a shed and lights out right they don't right. even know what's happening yeah but that's not what that's not what's going yeah, on I'm down with i'm 100 percent down with i feel like it's like it is part of the cycle of life animals do eat each other we are animals we eat we have incisors that are meant to tear through muscle and you know so but it, yeah, it, it's just like you said, it's like the mass commodification. Yeah, so obviously the shape of your teeth shouldn't act as a justification for you to go ahead and murder other animals. And the fact that other animals do something in nature doesn't mean that it's justified for you to do it. Animals also rape each other in nature. Doesn't mean that we can go around and just rape other people. Oh, like rape occurs in nature. Animals rape other animals. So I guess I get to as well. There's also infanticide in nature. Animals commit infanticide. Does that mean that infanticide is now justified for humans to do? Of course not. We shouldn't be looking at non-moral agents in the wild as role models for morality. It's just a bit silly. And yeah, again, imagine just seeing a dog that is just stray or something and you're like, you know what? Look at the shape of my teeth. I guess it's justified for me to murder this dog with my teeth because of the shape of my teeth. 
as long as, you know, they had a nice life before. All right, so that's pretty much the end of the time in which they discussed animal rights and, you know, killing animals for food. Hopefully Ethan can see this video. I'm going to put it in the H3 subreddit. I know they don't like when people put videos of themselves or others criticizing their guests. So they might just, you know, delete the video when I put it in. Who knows? I tried to minimize the degree to which I criticized the guests to hopefully, you know, not have that happen, but we'll see. That is the end of the video. Hopefully Ethan can see this. Thank you so much for watching. If you support my work and want to get early access to it, you can click the link in the pinned comment and support me on Patreon. And if you don't know, I do have a book going over most, if not all of the anti-vegan arguments you can hear online. If you want to get that as well, that'll be linked in the pinned comment. Lastly, there are two links below for vegan protein powder and vegan merch, both of which if you purchase will help support the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Dude, fuck off. I don't want anything to do with you. Don't ever speak to me again. You're a fucking piece of shit. Even vegans don't get your weird, stupid wannabe sense of irony here. Who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, 